Good afternoon. I am Bobby Boyd from Miss McCraw's class. And I am Nick Watson from Miss Chubb's class. And it is almost time for afternoon announcements. Before we start our afternoon announcements, we need the Boys and Girls Club bus, Katie Harper bus, the Little Yellow bus, and Alex Dawson to come to, the, to head to the gym. So if you ride the Boys and Girls Club bus, Katie Harper's bus, the Little Yellow bus, or you are Alex Dawson, please head to the gym. So if you, so if you're a teacher who, teacher, so if you're a te student who rides the boys and girls club bus, Katie Harper's bus, the little yellow bus, or Alex Dawson, please send them to the gym now. It is now time for our afternoon announcements. We will be, re we will start by recognizing classes with perfect attendance. Classes with perfect attendance today were Miss Baleska, Miss Goodman, Miss Johnson, and Miss Rice in kindergarten. Miss Bashir is in Miss Wallace in first. Miss Shook and Miss Chandler in second. Miss Carpenter, Mr. McCoy, and Miss Potter in third. Miss Miss Hammond fourth. Miss Hess in fifth. For lunch tomorrow we will have spaghetti and meatballs. Garden salad, steamed broccoli and diced peaches. It will be kindergarten first and fifth grade slushy day. Students, please don't forget about the next PBIS party. Next party is on March 18th and is a magician. The cost is 55 Dragon Dollars. Make sure you work hard to earn Dragon Dollars by being ready, respectful, and responsible. You can see the magician on March 18th. Are you a fourth or fifth grader that has singing talents? If you are, we encourage you to sign up for the first ever Kennedy's Got Talent competition. Tryouts are March 17th. You must get a form from Mr. Taunt and have transportation that afternoon. We want to recognize the filing classes that got the golden brush today for art. Miss Nix, Miss Sartain, and the combination class of Johnson and Graham. All of them earned the golden art brush today. Congratulations. There's no time for the joke of the day. Telling the joke is Mr. Vickers. Hey everyone, what do you get when you cross a skunk with a dinosaur? A stinkosaurus! Oh, that is funny. It's now time for our Tuesday career highlight. Now for job searching with Shook. Here is Marley Shook at South South State Bank. Hey, this is Marley from Kennedy Elementary, and today we are going to be interviewing a special lady at South State Bank. Shuck and I'm, an interview, I'm going to interview you here from Kennedy. <laughs> Hi, Marley. Um, so, what I want to ask you is, what's your job? Uh, my job, um, I'm a branch manager at South State Bank. Um, so, I do multiple, multiple things fall under my title. I um, oversee the staff. Um, I open accounts. And I also do loans, so I do I do pretty much everything that is involved inside the bank. That's pretty interesting. All right. Um, so our next question is, what's the coolest part of doing your job? Um, the coolest part is probably helping people. I get to help people in many ways. Um, I help them when they're having problems with their their accounts, their checking accounts, their savings accounts. Um, I get to help them open accounts for their children or save money for their children or themselves. And I also um, am, a am able to help them by giving them loans when they need to borrow money to make a purchase, like a car or a house or something like that. Cool. That helps you with your career today? Uh, sure. Um, I use um, simple math, adding and subtracting all day long, um, like you probably do in school now. I also, um, like, problem solving, which is probably what you learn when you do story problems and that sort of thing in math. So I'm always 
trying to figure out um, why something is not working, what the problem is, how to fix it, resolving the, the problem. Um, and also um, working as a team, I'm sure in school, or you still do as I did in school, we got in groups, we worked as a team, and you usually fell into place in a certain order. Usually there was someone who kind of led the group, someone who kind of um, gave out instructions, folks that were like the workers, folks that wanted to be in front of the class. So I, um, here at the bank, we I make sure that we work well as a team. I'm kind of the team leader, and um, that's something I probably learned in elementary school as well. Um, but a lot of um, reading, problem solving, math skills, um, that I definitely, the foundation came from my elementary. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> um, so, how are you ready, respectful, and responsible in your job? Ready. Um, I'll start with ready since that's the first one. Um, I, I, you know, come to school, I come to work with always a positive attitude. Um, just, I, I feel like I probably set the tone for the rest of the staff when I come in in the morning. So come in positive, ready to work, um, dress for work, um, make sure I have my tools that I need for the day. Um, just, you know, coming in with my mind ready to work and help customers and, um, being ready for that and also helping the, the employees here. Um, the next one is responsible. Respectful. Respectful. <laughs> um, respectful, I have to be always respectful to my coworkers, the staff that, that's here, and also respectful to the customers that come in. If I'm not respectful to them, then they're not going to remain customers. And of course, we need customers to stay in business. So. And then responsible. Responsible. Um, that's pretty big for me. I'm, responsible for like making sure the staff is, is has what they need and that they're prepared, um, making sure they're happy and that they feel like they're part of the team. I also have to be responsible to make sure that um, we, we take care of our customers and that the branch um, is neat and tidy and ready to service the customers, making sure you know everything is in working order. Um, I have a lot of responsibility in this, this big branch that hopefully you'll get to see. So. <laughs> All right, now say, say. all the announcements we have for today. Thank you for being a ready, respectful, and responsible leader who is focused on graduating in the year. When you are a very respectful and responsible leader who is focused on graduating, you are boldly committed to student success. It is now time for our car riders to walk to the gym. When you are walking to the gym, we need to be on the right side of the hall of the hall and silent. When you when you get to the gym, you need to sit in your grade level rows and be silent. Bus drivers, please pay attention to the afternoon announcements for your bus to be called. This is a great time to be working on homework, reading a book, doing go fars, and study island, it, or working with your teachers. But please. Make sure you listen for your, the bus. When you hear your bus call, please go straight to the bus lane. Make sure you are silent walking and walking on the right side. Please make sure you do not miss your bus. Hope, Hope you, you ha had a great day at school and have a, an even better evening. This is Bobby Boyd. And Nick Watson signing, signing off, off saying, saying make sure you are ready, respectful, and responsible and tell somebody you love them.